let's see the there's also uh this poster is up you guys see it near the library desk chunk <laughs> oh he ate some bad candy guys that's for tomorrow night she says hopefully they won't beware the horrors of halloween candy ah and also as a special added bonus here is the floor of the library you are currently on oh. that is so blurry okay it's the best I can do. Yeah, of course. It's it's. I wouldn't I wouldn't look at it too much for scale, but if there's anything you uh, wanted to find out, yes, where the art exhibit is. Oh, that's upstairs. She says. Ah, oh, thank you. Hey, yo. Upstairs. Plus, it lists all the different shit. Happy days. There's also uh, flyers for the uh, uh, showing the maps of the library on the desk that are free. You could just fucking have them. Cool. Anybody want me to take a screening of that and post it? Uh, let's see. There's the lower level. Mm -hmm. And there's the upper level. There you go. You've got all the maps and shit there. I'm going to check the sci-fi section for anything unusual. No problem. Uh, he wanders off. By the way, uh, just to point out, the library closes at 5 p.m., but the lock-in begins at 7 p.m. And my character actually says that I'm going to check the sci-fi section for some, anything unusual. Okay. I was going to go check the art show. Mm -hmm. No problem. I, he goes upstairs. Russ goes to the sci-fi section. Bargain Man stands around looking on the phone. And right. Uh, in the art section, you find a, another picture, much like the one you have with the hand and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, it, what name does it have on it? Jack and Parker. Hmm. Is there any other work of his here? No. Is there any other artwork of similar nature? Similar? No. Uh, there's a lot of other artwork of it's the kind of thing you'd expect uh, uh, preteens to draw and stuff there's one kid's work that's super dark and it's kind of set off like now this isn't really part of the art thing it's like eh, teddy bear with a knife in it type artwork so there's always one kid like that though in every fucking school it's not done by someone with the initials of js or anything is it now it doesn't seem germane to the case but just to put it out there for completeness okay by the way you guys have uh your normal gear on is anybody fucking wearing a big backpack of shit around or no i've just got a little satchel I, like a large I've always had, I mean, if we have our equipment. You do. Are you saying you're carrying a big backpack of shit around? Um, I, I do have a backpack. I can tell you about, but all my, uh, do you want to leave that in the car while you're in the library or do you want to be wearing a big backpack of shit around the library? Um, Josh, what do you think? I mean, do you think it would be cool if I left it in there or do you think this shit will, let me just check my, Looks like a pretty safe neighborhood, aside from, you know. I think, I think you'd be okay leaving it in the car. It's more so that you'd attract more attention if you're walking around with a backpack on and potentially knocking into things. Right. You know, causing a chain react, knocking one bookshelf, which falls onto another one, onto another one, onto another one, which is which is what Logan is hoping will occur. 
right. get you to make um, dex maneuver rolls to move around and then hope you fumble and cause yeah. a chain reaction. Fair enough. So you want right. to fraught that. Yeah, I'm going to leave my, my backpack with the weapons and the magic glasses and stuff like that the hell out of the library. Uh, I've got a, a lock in the trunk and stuff if you want. I yeah. don't see it written down here, so I guess maybe something happened to it. I don't know. Whatever. Submit any any bugs on your equipment to Freddy and say, Freddy, where did my shit go? Because yeah. if you get enough different bugs from different <laughs> people, then you know he'll look into it even harder. So that uh, unless you're wanting to investigate anything specific or do some research, that looks like the library there. Sci-fi, young adult, and cooking. Cookie. Cooking. Cooking. Uh, look in the actually, I wanted to look in the languages. Probably in the in the nonfiction if there's not a language section. I, I take it by your silence, I find nothing. Um, you did find a odd book, uh, uh, How to Cook Humans. Hmm. How to Serve Man? <laughs> oh, there is some dust on uh, cover, though. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's, that's hmm. interesting, but not what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm looking for pastries. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to blow some dust off of it. So, anyway, um, got it. There's, uh, you want a book on cooking pastries? That'd be in the cooking rather than the sci-fi section. I'm thinking. That's that's why I said sci-fi, cooking, and young adult. Oh, okay. Uh, Making yeah, it sure. easy for you to just say nothing's there. There's nothing in any of the shit that you've gone to, but okay. I was trying to lure you into the book. So. I was I was hoping to find a pastry book, and then I was going to like try and shake any loose paper out of it or something. You know, nothing. Okay. No. I'm looking to see languages. On the off chance, there's any books on ACLO language that we might this be able to use to help us. Library, they probably never heard of ACLO language. I know, but I'm just in the off chance, just to the fact that he goes to this library. I'm sure. Let's take a look here. According to the library, no, they've never heard of that shit. That's okay, I I flagged down Donna. She sits behind the desk and looks at you and raises her eyebrows. Hi, Donna. Uh, do, you, do you happen to have a membership list for that overeater, overeater support group? No. No? No. Do you no, know I, any of the kids who came in? Not really, no. Uh, it's run by the Haskells. The Haskells? Uh, yes. Um... She clenches her jaws like maybe I shouldn't say more. Yeah, you're not in trouble. We're just trying to file as much information as possible. So when, yeah. when these guys get library cards, do they have addresses to them that we can talk to the, the Haskells? Or? Ah, give me a fast talk roll there, bargain man. <coughs> Like oh, nice. ah, well, all right. If you think it will help, she says. She gives you that address for the Haskells, whose first names I'm looking for. <coughs> Where are you, Haskells? <coughs> ah, John and Carol. Unusual names, you think? Suspicious names. How about uh, boys that signed out similar books that uh, Jack did? Boys' names. Um, I don't really have a good way to reference that stuff, she says. <laughs> this is before Patriot Act kicked in. Maybe the Sleast Act won't even have a Patriot Act. <laughs> the horror. The horror. Okay, um, I'm going to check the card catalog for 
Annie Aklo. I'm just going to look look up Aklo. Uh, you notice that somebody has recently disturbed this very card catalog, and it looks like uh, it's sorted through so that if you were looking for Aklo, then there's still a space, but unfortunately it goes straight to the next uh, topic instead of Aklo. You see McKay looking at you, raising an eyebrow. Yeah, um, guys? Yeah. Mm. Card catalog? Yes. Uh, does this look like anything's missing to you? No. Why do you think there's something missing? Well, you... um... Yes? Logan, are you just fucking with me, or did it look like it was laid out like something's... It looks as though uh, perhaps somebody at some point did a search for the ACLO language in the card catalog. It would be your guess because you know how like one of the cards is kind of like leaning forward and the other one's leaning back. But between the two is where ACLO would go, but it's not there. It's law. Right yeah, there. It was me five minutes ago. Ah, you were in the card catalog. Okay, very good. Yes, looking for any books on the ACLO language on the off chance. This is what happens when you don't listen to what the air players are doing. You're like, my God, I found and there's footprints. There's footprints right here at this box. I, I didn't hear card catalog. I know he was looking for a book. I just didn't realize he was doing it in the card catalog. Okay, that's cool. I didn't specify card catalog, but, yes, I was looking for it. So I would. Have okay, so you didn't even it. say that. So Logan's just, yeah, okay, Logan. <laughs> you got to understand, I was listening. <laughs> All right. Yes, I was. I know. I know he was looking for an Aklo book, and um, blah. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> Fucker. Anyway, <laughs> the very faint tracks in the carpet that go from the card catalog over to where he's sitting. You oh, I make a tracking roll. Oh no. <laughs> there may be somebody hiding under the table. <laughs> I'm onto something. Uh, okay. Very good. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to do in the library? Not at the moment. Hmm. Oh, um, so sorry. The I'm assuming various um groups meet at the library. Like there's flyers and stuff for various yeah. groups that meet at the library. Um. Yes, none none others seem germane to this, but yes. Yeah, yeah. I have a question. And I'm just done. Yeah, that's right. I was just trying to see if so like they'd meet at the small conference room, for example, or something like that, would they? Yeah, it looks like a basement type deal. A basement lower level. Yeah. Usually when libraries have events, they usually have pictures, like on bulletin boards or something, like People participating. Do you have anything like that floating around with pictures of, of people? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, in the basement, Pete, is a community room. That's yeah, where the... Yeah, you know, the writing's <laughs> a bit blurry, unfortunately. Yes. On that one. Yes, okay, I, did that, did, to... I did that to try to convince Russ he needs glasses. That's the whole reason. Uh, the two double, through the two double doors there. Exactly. Perpetual book sale 11. See, it worked. Hmm. Illuminati. Lower level, I, I don't see a community room listed there. It's on okay. the lower bottom, level. Yeah, I, bottom, I'm checking the lower. Oh, okay. Bottom left section. Community room, right. Key. Okay, it's not. It's yeah, not numbered. Yeah, it's not in the key, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not in the key. Yeah, videos, and, magazines. And I'm assuming the grade off areas are staff sections. Yes. I bought those because I had a premonition that I was going to be reading something blurry and <laughs> that Logan was going to try and convince me I needed glasses. Damn you. Damn your eyes. Yes. <laughs> uh, would you like to investigate the community room or is the map sufficient? No, go and check it out. No yeah. problem. You guys head down there and uh, it's currently not being used, handy, uh, but you do find out that uh, there is the two bathrooms, uh, male, female, well, slee stack male, slee stack female. However, in the bigger door in the uh, lower right part of the room, uh, behind that 
uh, door, which is like a closet, is another door, which is not on the map, that uh, says it has like the warning electricity signs and stuff like that. And that door seems to be locked. Did you come do a review of any ability at lock picking? Do we have any lock picks? That was going to be my next question. I don't, I don't have any lock picks. Um, I, I've got, I'm a hobbyist. I've been practicing. Excuse me. I figured it was a useful skill that I could um, mm -hmm. learn and improve. Yes, I have been doing a little bit of practice. I'm not quite hobbyist. What about you, Tom Tom? What was the question? Lock picking. Uh, I believe so. Let me, uh, and so uh, do you have any lock picks is the next question uh i know you used to have them didn't you <laughs> one of us can minor shape change our finger into a lock pick <laughs> uh let's see if lock picks only work like that <laughs> mechanical yeah i i okay with it do you have any lock picks uh, let me go through my equipment here so the door, is it in a section where we could attempt to open it? Would a leather... Saying, what are you doing? Would a uh, Leatherman's tool? I don't know if you're familiar with it. But... Nah. At a negative, yes. That would be an improvised lockpick, probably minus yes. 30. But yeah. where the door is, is it in a section where people might be... Well, there's... there's uh, uh... A small light in there, but uh, you could literally close the closet door and then pick it in the dark. Because if you're going to learn to pick locks, picking in the dark honestly is about as difficult as picking in the light because it's all feel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and uh, believe me, there is nothing to see unless you are working with a clear training lock. One of my buddies has some of those. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we shall either in the this is what we're going to do, gents, since Tom, never, none of us appear to have any lockpicks. I am going to go and get some lockpicks and come back. <laughs> As I know where there's some lockpicks. Um, so we shall go to a room where, the, we, where we have some privacy. Community room. Like community room, maybe if there's a, if there's, if they have a sign nearby for putting, saying meeting in progress or something. Is well, there's door. a bathroom that the yeah, bathrooms sure. are single single use uh, things, so you can literally go in single and lock use. yourself in. Well, single use meaning one person. I know what you mean. I'm... Yeah, I mean, or you could use it once and then destroy the bathroom. <laughs> you really need to copy paste some horns onto those two symbols. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so um, here is. And let's, I can't remember, do any of you have a trump card of me? Uh, Josh, I don't. All right. All right. So here's a trump card of me. I I'm shall... really surprised nobody's mass produced. Like, here's what everybody else looks like. Take your cards. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is the only person, I think um, the main person being focusing on Trump's has been Freddie, and he keeps doing other trump cards. Brother, so well, just... then I'm distracting him away from them. Yes. I'll go to the embassy, grab the lock picks, come back. Right. Uh, give me a luck roll not to get held up for a couple hours dealing with uh, very important things there. <laughs> okay. Right. He leaves. And you guys are sitting around for like several hours. And so, you're, Logan, you, after about half an hour. Oh, you're you're busy, dude. There's there's like uh, somebody from the main government thing needing to talk to you, and he's found you with his entourage, and he's like, "Oh, thank goodness, McKay." And uh, Owen Owen's like, "Thank God you're here. Yes, this is vital. Come with me." And then you get Great. sucked off to a meeting. And it's not one you can dodge and shit. And so you're sitting around there listening to people and they're like, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even get a chance to go downstairs and get the lockpicks yet. 
No problem. Yes, I'm listening. Oh, yes, very dire things. Yes. Oh, support. That'd be great. Meanwhile, you two are like, is there a, is there a game closet checker set? Yes, yes, there is. Would you guys like to play checkers for a while? Yeah, sure. All of you attempt a new skill at learn called checkers. Fucking the rock is crushing at checkers. How's bargain man doing? Stand by. Put it in here. Success. Wow, you guys have several good rousing games of checkers. You both get a check in checkers. And we cut to 2 p.m. It's three hours till library close. A very harried looking McKay comes out, uh, gets Trump through. Uh, he contacts whoever he gave his card to, goes in the bathroom, trumps him through. You guys come out of the bathroom wiping your noses. Thank no, you. no, we're just doing cocaine, no trumping. And, uh, uh, McKay's like, I forgot the goddamn lock picks, and then he goes back and gets him and gets Trump through again. He's like, ah, and he, he's just Nothing. looking like he's got that thousand yard stare of a guy who's been in business meetings that he didn't want to go to all day. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the the uh, you really you did a great job shoring up some much needed uh, stuff that was going on between the government and the other guys because a lot of the government guys are really old and stuff. And while they like dealing with the Australian ambassador and stuff, dealing with an elf is not nearly as good. And by the way, a special Elwin is wearing one glove, and he has no musical talent. So this concerns you on his right hand, a glove. Hmm. So was he wearing a glove when I last saw him, which was after Freddie yes. had given him the axe? Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Well, actually, he's wearing bandages then. Bandages. Yes. Now he's moved to a black glove. Okay. And he still seems extremely bitter about it. And mm. it's not healing, he tells you. He it's needs, not healing. No. I remember that guy. Okay. Freddie will pay for his crimes because it hurts every day. He wakes up in the middle of the night crying and shit because it hurts. Freddie set his hand on fire, huh? Something like that. But anyway, so you like an alphane axe to put into storage. That's a chemical burn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't panic. So anyway, you're back. It's 2 p.m. Everybody's super hungry, except for McKay, who ate a bunch of nibblies and shit like that that got served during his meetings. You guys are like, your stomachs are doing the thing where they're starting to talk to you. It's like, we're poor. Please put food in. Here's the lock picks. Let's go. <laughs> I just, I just I give Josh. I am so, so sorry. <laughs> oh. All right, your turn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I said your skill's better than mine. Nope. No. Oh, then again. Oh, yes, it is still better than mine. Uh, skills, core skills. Yeah, I round for hobbyists. <coughs> nope. Impenetrable. Cool. All right. So, still 2 p.m. Well, 2.15 p.m. If you can't pick a let's lot. Go, minute, let's go so you guys can get some lunch. Yep. Unless there was something else you wanted to check out. No, but after lunch, we should probably look up the Haskells. Yes. That's probably 3 p.m. Nice you guys uh, look up the uh, – you drive out to the address where the Haskells are supposed to live. Unless they're into living in a open field that uh, looks like there may have been a house here once, but it's an uh, old open field now. Hmm. We check the phone book at all? Yeah, yeah. The the uh, uh, address is the same in the phone book. How about the phone number? It's not the same as the address. Right. I write it down. Great. Yeah. 
you guys look at cues in the way at the empty field. We I we find a telephone booth. All right, they have them back in the eighties. I call up Young's Detective Agency. Young's Detective Agency. How may I help you? Says a different voice. Uh, this is Joshua McKay. It's one of the monkeys. Yes. <laughs> Do we have reverse lookup telephone books there head in the office? Yes. Beautiful. Brock, what can you? What's the phone number? Blah. He's talking to another monkey. Can you please look up the following number? Holy shit! Listen, listen. Oh, he stopped. Never mind. <laughs> can you please look up the following number? They they do so and give you the address that is the field. Thank you. Fuck. Right. Okay, so didn't move and keep their number. <sighs> nice, nice thinking, no. But yes, the number doesn't go. The number also is linked to the field, which is concerning. It shows the detective getting uh, swatted in the back of the head by uh, Henry Young as he goes by. Not monkeys. <laughs> Sorry, boss. <laughs> No, um, no remnants of foundation. No, just an empty field. Yes. Okay. Well, the Haskells don't want to be found. Well, we we can go to the city city records or whatever and see who owns that block of see if that block of land is owned by anyone. Yeah. Cool. You guys uh, head over there. Um, the uh, I need uh, 10 slee stack bucks to pull the records on that and get a copy of it. Here you go. Cool. Uh, under the Freedom of Slee Stack Information Act, they give you a copy of it. And it's uh, owned by some business. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A business. Yeah. Uh, slee Stack Enterprises owns it. Next time you run this, it should be Wrigley Field, I think. Ready Field? Wrigley Field. Oh, Wrigley Field. Hey. <laughs> hey. And now I actually tried the Wrigley Field thing and I gave the address and people were like, that's Wrigley Field. And I was like, Jesus, what are you guys, fucking Illinois police? They're like, ah, it's Wrigley Field. 1060 West Addison. Blues Brothers movie. <laughs> Yeah. Nobody, nobody needs to know Illinois. They just need to watch John Belushi. All right. Um, that's a dead end. For now, at least we can figure out a clever way of locating him besides yeah. waiting around for the next meeting and dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait. <laughs> I right. need to get some theremin music. Oh, um, the university of the big city university. Yes. Should we, um, I got a question. Should we check the police department, see what they came up with? No, because we're being told to avoid the police. Otherwise they're more likely to arrest us unless you've got some way of talking to a cop and not looking like I'm human. But yes. Otherwise, I would agree with you on that front. Unfortunately, um, they may arrest you for unauthorized monkey business. No, I was just thinking if we we go to Big City University and see if they have a languages department and see if anybody know if there's anybody there that knows. Right, yeah. Certainly, um, you guys drive over to Big City University. Uh, my naming scheme leaves a lot to be desired. And uh, no problem. Uh, you go and talk uh, to various things. You check out their library. Uh, give me research rolls. And if you make it, a luck roll at half or less to find a uh, transliteration of this language. Yeah, the research is looking good. How's that mm -hmm. luck rolls at half? Nope. Let's see. Nope. Yeah. It's Stand all by. up to Bargain Man. Oh, luck is on top of it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Luck is uh is just below the second bar. Yeah, I'm the bargain man. Top Ken. right. Yes. The bargain man. The bargain man. It's the bargain man. He makes the world go round. <laughs> well done. Nice. 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 Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, through some transliteration, it uh, looks like some of the stuff's misspelled and shit like that. But what you do find is, let's see, eating the dog. Yes, yes, yes. Where is it? I am the serpent king. Ride the snake. Pretty close. Uh, Ride the snake. It's old and its skin is cold. There you go. Some of that guy's back there. Yeah, great. Could you read out loud for the studio audience, Pete? The gospel of Glacky to serve in death as in life and food for worms is food. Uh, what's his name? Yaglognik. Can't remember exactly how it's pronounced. Uh, Kafulu Mythos role in regards to Glacky. Glacky, yeah. Fumble. Ah, Glacky is this white. Uh, deity wears a blue cap with a little bit of red uh, ribbon hanging out of it and he is really big like super big like can step on cars and shit like that and he's made out of uh, marshmallow it's the stay puffed marshmallow man that's him think about him <laughs> <laughs> I thought about Jay Edgar Hoover what do we do now there you go. Um, I made my Mifos roll. Oh. Yeah. You you think you're on the right track, as usual. You're like, mm -hmm. yep, that's so. We're all doomed. Doomed, I tells you. Doomed. Was it the Linorm or the Neothelid that were the worm creatures with the Mind Flayer tadpoles? It was the Neolith Neothelid. Neothelid, no, okay. Is a type of worm with tentacles and Toothed more made from mind flare tadpoles. Hmm. So, yes, uh, if it's young Galak, then you're doomed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need yeah. Mecha Doc. According to uh, your Cthulhu mythos, he's the defiler, the god of the depravity and perversion. Yeah, because he's the guy with the mouths, the mouths in his hands. Mm -hmm. Jesus. And he what? apparently has his own song. <laughs> what? I wouldn't have thought so either, but... um. Let's see. Uh, yep. Here's his song. Uh, we'll let Russ perform it because he's good at such things. So, and whatever tune you'd like, Russ, go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go long neck. Escalon neck, monster cone, and las bocas, and sus manos. Escalon neck, escalon neck, escalon neck, monster cone, lack of rain. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Oh, the gun and the pretend rain. Yes. Anyway. Well, you, you can try the English part. <laughs> Yes, on his hands he's got orifices. Yes, oh, on his hands he's got orifices. Oh, on his hands he's got orifices. And he hasn't got a head. <laughs> there you go. So that, that gives you something there. Hmm. 
I had no idea he has a. I've actually been learning Spanish. It's monstro con los bocitas en sus manos. Bocas or bocitas? Because it says bocas. Hands in his mouth. Yeah, hands right. in his... Bocas. Yeah, I don't bocas. know what bocas means, though. Math. Math? Mouth. Oh, mouth. Okay, cool. I haven't gotten the mouth, mouth yet. I haven't gotten the orifices in my Spanish. A boca. A, boca. Uh, a small mouth? Mm. A grande pocas or a uh, poco pocas? Poco bocas. Uh, it doesn't say. Yeah. But um, poquita, it would be if it was a small mouth. I'll make a bathroom run, gentlemen. His Spanish yeah. is better than mine. Yes, all this talk about somebody with no head, he has to go to the bathroom. So there you go. So you guys have driven around at the library closing time, 5 p.m. comes while you guys are driving around. You're getting tired. Uh, you're thinking that, you know, you've had a rather full day of okay. wandering around aimlessly, looking at fields. Strawberry fields? Forever. Okay, so card play. I have a replenish, but I'm going to play a happy pie right now. Yay, happy pie. Happy pie. Everybody draw a card. Yay. I like drawing cards. Mm, yep. I got to play immediately. Cool. No. So do I. If cool. your character has an insanity for drug or alcohol addiction or is just addicted for some reason, roll a d4. No, I don't, I don't. You're fine. Bargain Man doesn't need chemicals. Bargain Man has the power of bargaining. My down to the my. Wait, why did, where did this come in? Are you, did you did you send me a card before, Logan? What possibly? Quite did. possibly. Of course, I have another one that says play immediately, which hindrance players are hindered somehow. Which we are anyway, so. Yes. Uh, okay. And my play immediately is down to the wire. Every run immediately, no trading discards, all bar one card. Everybody everybody discards down to one card? Yes. All right, time to play that replenish. <laughs> yep. Good all right, part. replenish. Lovely. Group Insta Hero. Well, that worked out. See, it all worked out in the end. Wait, do I have to get rid of all my cards and every they they refill? Just one. Uh, Throw down the one, one, and you then can, you can discard does, the yeah. last card if you want to, if it sucks, no, and refill you. your hand. You don't have to. By the way, guys, I have a whole card, so if anybody gets a victory card. Or something else they think is really worth holding until the end of the mission. Uh, I gotta play immediately. All players drop to two MP. What the hell's that? Magic points. That means Sorry. if we run into anything that drains magic points, we may find ourselves in Indeed, we gained a hero point, which caused us all to lose majority of our magic points. Luckily, we're all going to sleep soon. Yay! So that won't last. I want to um, just put a pin in. Let's find out what these stains are. Let's find an expert and see if we can find out what these stains on the, the clothing are. Well, we were looking, we were at the university translating the notebook where we laugh, which is where we last left off. Yes. The chemistry department. Dun, dun, dun. Or the medicine department, because I suspect it's blood. Yeah, we had to make a chem roll first, though, so. Yes, yes. We, we shall do so. We shall check. Right. You guys uh, head over to the uh, <coughs> uh, chemistry uh, department. Uh, they, they're not really wanting to let you guys play around with their chemicals and shit. Well, What's this? We don't want. We want an expert to have a look at it. We all blew our chemistry roll already. Oh, he says. Can you identify this? Yes. 
we we he, can certainly look at it. He goes. Mm. Looks like uh, some sort of red food dye gone bad. Hmm. Hi, Kate. Okay. <laughs> I so love a PhD stuff. in chemistry is lower than is is a sixty. Uh, he was just uh, taking a look at it because he doesn't uh, have enough motivation to actually run any tests on it. He is twenty slay stack dollars. Run some tests. A uh, twenty, he says. Oh my! This is the nineteen eighties. This is not the twenty first century, Logan. That's true. He'd have been happier with fifty or a hundred. He's a poor university person. Uh, give me a bargain roll to see if that's enough to bribe him there, McKay. Sure. He raises his eyebrow. Too bad it wasn't bargain, man. Uh, here's another 20 to go with that 20 once it's done. Give me another bargain roll to see if it if he thinks that these 20s are still lonesome. Yeah, he'll run it for you. He says, uh, it's blood of some sort. Hmm. Who's blood? I don't know that. It's not mine. What was the blood type? Uh, AB. AB okay. Slee Stack. AB Slee Stack. We can find out if that's his blood. Um, probably is. Uh, maybe in the medicine department? What school? Uh, yeah. the, uh, the, medical, the medical school? Maybe we can uh, have them check it out, see if they... Purpose. See if there's anything unusual in it. Look at, under, look at it under a microscope, see if there's any weird stuff there. Yeah, weird anything. stuff, what the pattern looks like, if, it, if the thing with the sores makes any sense. Um, no, no weird stuff. It's just normal, everyday blood. Am I investigating a murder? Did you guys kill somebody? <laughs> Not us. He's bringing you and asking you to investigate it if we did. You might. He looks at you warily. Okay. Um, I'm going to attempt a zoology roll, Logan, because I um, want to see if it looks like, on, on the shape of the things, if it looks like anything kind of animal. Uh, no, it's like uh, five inches by three inches little pools. Uh, you know. uh, now with what you also know, actually everybody can try a uh, evidence analysis role based on information you have. Yep. It's almost as though somebody pressed hands there and then for some reason blood came. What could possibly try to get blood through uh, a his body. His mouth, mouths in his hands. He has, he has manos, bo, manos con bocas. There you go. I, I mean, we sang a song about it just a minute ago. Yep. That's why I was wondering if it was some kind of mouth. A zoology <laughs> might have, might have brought that. So there you go. We got by bargain man one of those silent mice. Check it out. Sorry. Yeah, it's a fucking beautiful <laughs> thing, dude. And they're cheap too. Silent and cheap. Okay, so Right, you guys get shooed out of the chemistry lab. He's not going to let you live there for the forty dollars you've given him. Okay. Damn it. Blah on the mouths and the whole <laughs> handprints with blood. I know. And don't throw feces at anybody. <laughs> God, they're so racist here. <laughs> All right, I think uh, I think it's a uh, good. Good day's work and uh, get up and change clothes in the morning. Shower. You guys purpose. head over to the address you were given for a place to sleep at. It, definitely nothing uh, uh, fancy. It's a uh, uh, motel called Your Wife Doesn't Know You're Here. Okay. 
it looks like there's a lot of other furtive guests that are here. Um, yeah. there, there, there's plenty of things to start a fire with and none to put one out with since now you guys are ready. ready here. Okay. If you were Freddy, then you possibly burn down the place. You're kind of curious as to why people would store oily rags and uh, stuff like, you know, uh, kerosene and shit at a hotel. Mm -hmm. 